Hello guys, welcome to another C++ tutorial. This is for beginners. This is the basically the uh, Hello World tutorial. So it's basically the first tutorial of all. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll be using Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate Edition, but you can use any other ID you wish to. Uh, I also have a, a couple of free IDs listed in the description, so you so feel free to use any of those if you wish to. Uh, so let's get started. First, we must create a new project. We can either do that by clicking down here, new project, or going to File, New, and Project. Once once it loads, uh, under Visual C++, we must click on Win32 app, and then here on Win32 console application, and then we can name our project. I'll name this project Hello World. You can certainly name it whatever you like to and then hit OK so now that we have created our project there's still one important thing that we must do and that is under application settings make sure to check empty project because we need an empty project we don't need um, all the other code that comes uh, you see on the right hand side under the hello world project you see a folder called source files you must right click on that folder go to add and we must add a new source file under visual c++ we must click code and then c++ file and you can name this anything you wish to i recommend you name me i will name my name and then you just hit add now you see the C++ source file created, click on that, and you'll see a blank page, blank page appear, blank page appear on the left side. Now we're ready to type our code. First, every C++ program we must start by including, so we will include the IO stream. And this is just the library where all the input and output functions are, are defined. That's how the C++ compiler knows what each thing, uh, every line of code we type means. Then we must type using namespace standard or std. Then we must go. We want to type int main, and this is our main function. An open bracket means that we are inside our main function. And in here, we just want to print out. Since this is the first tutorial, we just want to print out the low world. And in C++, in the C++ language, to print out something on the screen, we must type C out, and then the last then sign, then open quotation mark, and we must uh, now we can type a message. So I'll type hello world. Close the quotation marks, and we must put a semicolon. But we might, in order for this to look a little bit neater, we might want to just leave a blank line after this is displayed, the hello world. So we just do less than, less than, so on. And then we type end line, and this will leave a blank line after the hello world text is displayed. And then to terminate the program, we must type return zero and semicolon. And then we must put a closing bracket. That means that the main function has ended and everything has run. So all, all this program will do is basically just display a lower, skip a line, leave a blank line, and then it will just terminate. So let's build it and see if it works properly. Go to build and build. There shouldn't be any errors. Uh, it should run. It should just display a lower world. If you're using a different ID, Compiler, um, there should be a build tab up here or something, or maybe it says compile instead. So this build one succeeded, zero failed, zero up, zero up to date. So everything is working fine. Then we just go to debug and start without debugging, and you will see a, win a Windows console app pop up. So you see here it says hello world. Now to terminate, we just hit any key and it will terminate. 
So that was your first tu C++ tutorial, and I'll be doing a couple of more, a little bit more advanced for you guys. And I hope you found this helpful, and please check out all my other videos, and please, please, please subscribe. When you subscribe, it means a lot. And uh, more certainly, if you would like me to make a tutorial about anything, just please let me know, and I'll be more than glad to do so. Thank you once more, and please subscribe. Thank you.